Hey everyone, it's Flaky. Uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, hopefully you've watched my other episodes before. If not, I would say watch them in order because it kind of makes more sense. Uh, but if not and you just want to watch this video, that's fine. Um, hopefully it will still be of benefit to you. Uh, this one is <clears throat> probably going to be the hardest one I've had to do yet. Um, but it's probably the reason I'm doing it, the whole reason I'm doing it. Uh, and it's all on suicide. Um, so first of all, I wanted to start with a few worrying statistics from, uh, well, according to Samaritans, um, which basically I'm, yeah, I want to make, I want to change basically. So in the UK and Republic of Ireland, there were nearly 7,000 suicides in 2018. Over six and a half thousand of those were in the UK and 352 in Re Republic of Ireland. Deaths by suicide rose by 10.9% in the UK in 2018. In the UK, men are three times more likely to, as three times as likely to die by suicide than women. In the Republic of Ireland, the rate is four times higher among men than women. In the UK, the highest suicide rate, suicide rate is among men aged 45 to 49. In the Republic of Ireland, the highest rate is among men aged 55 to 65. So to put it simply, I want this to change and I don't want to be one of those statistics myself either. Um, if you watched my previous videos, you know I was basically planning my suicide a few years ago uh, for a few months and basically got to the point where I couldn't carry on. I wanted to die. Um, a lot of hard work later, I'm now in a position where I can talk about it openly and want to kind of get the conversation flowing and avoid it being such a taboo subject. Um, people don't want to talk about death or suicide. But that resorts in people wanting to or having to feel they have to take their own life years down the line. If there's people that are in their 40s or 50s taking suicide, it's because they've bottled things up for so many years, especially men, because they can't talk about it because it's shown as weakness. And I don't want to live that way. I want to be talking openly about what I'm feeling, whether that's a negative thought or a positive thought. You've got to get it out in the open because if you do that, a problem shared is a problem halved. It's as simple as that. Whew. So, I'll take a deep breath and I'll start again. Well, not start again, but carry on. Uh, I look at it as like you've got, um, say you've lit a match and you put it in the rainforest and you start a fire. It'll start to spread like wildfire, wildfire. And if it's not put out quickly, it's out of control before you know it. That's a bit like depression. If you don't recognise the signs early enough, it consumes you and it gets too much. And you see the only option is suicide. So you need to talk, talk, talk and talk about what you're feeling. Write your thoughts down and just make it more clearer or get a, a bigger picture about why you're feeling a certain way. What's going on in your life to make you feel that way. You can work through stuff day by day and lead to a positive life. That's what I'm kind of getting at. So yeah, suicide hopefully shouldn't be the answer. And if it is something that you're worried about, go seek, the, go seek professional help. Go speak to the professionals. Speak to your local GP. If they rec recommend something, do it. I'm not going to say everything I've done because I'm not a doctor, but I'm just talking from personal experience and what has worked for me. I write my thoughts down. I talk through what I'm thinking. I listen to music. I talk to my brothers, etc. And it works for me. So I feel happy. I'm in a good place. I'm not going to do what I planned to do a few years ago, a few years ago because it's not the answer. And um, it's horrible that people have had to re resort to that to do it. Um, so I'm just distracting myself now um but i want to i want to kind of make the, the main reason i'm doing this is i want people to know that there is light in the tunnel and if people use me as an example that's great if they think i'm i don't know attention seeking or something that's something that they just have to well disregard really because i'm not doing that i just got to a point where i couldn't carry on so that's all i've got to say really at this stage i could go on about it for ages um but yeah so i just get distracted by a car coming um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's probably not a free flowing video, but it's it's all in one take. I didn't want to just script it too much. Uh, and the next video hopefully will be a bit more uplifting. It's all on technology uh, and how it affects our daily lives. Of technical technology is always improving and it's getting everywhere. And obviously making sure that your mental health isn't getting affected by technology. So stay tuned for that one. And thanks for watching. Cheers, Flaky.